Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing Jagged Alliance 3, which, um, the nostalgia train just keeps on rolling. We're already playing Xenonauts 2 on the channel at the moment, and now it's Jagged Alliance 3, so it's, just, it's all 90s nostalgia the whole way down. Um, so that's fun. So I never played Jagged Alliance 1 and 2. Um, I never played it, but it's still nostalgic because the whole point of Jagged Alliance as a franchise is basically to mimic those, like, cheesy, like, 80s and 90s action movies, so still nostalgic. Uh, also, more turn-based tactics, so sounds like fun. So, new game. Uh, love that it's called First Blood Commando and Mission Impossible. These are the difficulty settings. We're gonna play on easy. It's, it's I bet I'm gonna be terribly anyway. Um, it's apparently a very difficult game. Apparently, like, real difficult. So, I don't know. We'll see. First Blood. I won't have a clue what I'm doing, so. Uh, forgiving mode. That's like Iron Man, I guess. Nope. Lowers... The impact of attrition. I don't even know what that is. But apparently it makes things easier. I think we'll make do. We'll make do. We won't make it too, too easy. Um, dead is dead. That's Iron Man. There we go. One save. One save game. You die, you die. Uh, that's something I never turn on because if a save game breaks, then my, you know, my series is over. So I would never put that on. Uh, save the game. Wait, hang on. Progress is saved automatically. Every death and every choice is final. Saving the game... Oh, that's just during combat. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. This is fine. The original Jagged Alliance games in the 1990s poke fun at cliches and stereotypes that existed in the action movies of the time. Jagged Alliance 3 continues this tradition, but also takes jabs at contemporary issues and pop culture. This game is a work of fiction, where a lot of stuff blows up, and not based on any real persons, locations, or events. Players are encouraged to use their own judgement and discretion when playing the game, and deciding which group of enemies get the first grenade. So that's our mission then. Go um, save the president, I guess. So anyway, we are gonna. Uh, <laughs> so I love this this interface, by the way. It's really charming. It's you're literally just like in a browser sorting out your mercenary, like I don't know, band, I guess. Uh, so it recommends we hire three mercs. Well, let's get four mercs. Let's go crazy. Uh, it recommends Steroid, who is sort of like a, a weird uh, mix of like. Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat and and like some like Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff in there as well. He's a bit of a weird one, uh, weird mix. But anyway, uh, he's very good with mechanical and marksmanship. He has very very high strength and can punch people. So it says down at the bottom, who's, you know, who is recommended. We have 40k to spend. So let's offer this guy a contract. This is Bobby Gontarski. Do you have business? 
Sure do. Uh, so you can change the duration as well. So I don't know if I want to give him like a big one for cheaper, or I want to save my money and just get better ones. Because you can see it is it is cheaper the longer the contract you do. I think we'll start with a short contract. And then, like, I'm sure we'll be able to renew them and we'll, yeah, hopefully be in a better position because 40k doesn't seem like a lot. So let's offer him that contract. Seven days, one week, 5k. I thank you for um, giving me the business. I see you. <laughs> Marvelous. Okay, uh, that's fine. Also recommends Dr. Q. This is Dr. Q Huang. Speak. Uh, quite expensive, but who the hell are you? I have no idea. Dr. Q Huang. Uh, he's a doctor doctor, so good medical. We are going to need good medical. We kind of want to make sure that we have, like, all of this covered. Um, he seems interesting. He's level 3. So, unarmed attack inflicts unconscious. That's kind of fun. Improved accuracy with melee attack. He's a ninja. He's, he's, a, he's a doctor slash like, ninja. Which is marvellous. Uh, reduced pen... Okay, he's good at night ops, so reduced accuracy at night. Um, Saviour. Restores 20% more HP using bandages. And he gets free move after making a melee attack. That's fun. He also starts with a few bits and bobs. Some armour and guns and such. I think he's good. I think he's good. And honestly, I don't think the fee is terrible. I don't think the fee is terrible. Let's do it. The arrangement is mutually beneficial. I agree to the terms. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, okay. Ice. Where's ice? I'm sure I've just scrolled past it. There he is. Uh, just big, big on marksman, is he? Uh, fire several shots. Aimed at the legs, groin, torso, hands, and head of the target. Yeah, shooting people in the groin, I think, um, it gives them suppression, I think. Which I think is very funny. You can't act as much if you've been shot in the groin. Uh, reduced accuracy penalty when firing burst fire of full auto. Dodge the first successful enemy attack when falling prone. Interesting. Okay. Deal 15% more damage against flanked enemies, that's good too. I mean, he seems capable. But I also feel like we have someone who's good at uh, mechanical and someone who's good at medical, but I also need to make sure we have someone who's like an explosive specialist. Live wire? Nope. Nope, they're also mechanical. Barry. Hello, Barry Unger. Uh, who's Hungarian, I think? Very good with explosives. So maybe we'll get Barry. Uh, produces two shape charge every 168 hours. Ooh. Well, that sounds like fun. Maybe. Uh, gets a major bonus to disarm traps, hack devices, and pick lock checks. Interesting. And unjamming costs one AP, which I guess is less than normal. I'm guessing. Uh, guaranteed minimal accuracy with hopeless attacks. Oh. Oh, he can't attack to save his life. With anything except grenades, I assume. Yeah, after throwing a grenade or making a shotgun attack, he gets a free move. He doesn't have a shotgun, though, which is embarrassing. He does have shape charges. High mishap risk when used by anyone except Barry. Oh, interesting. So he can make shape charges. But they're specifically a thing that he gets to use. That's very specific. I like that a lot. That's really fun. Okay. Uh, this is probably a terrible idea. Let's get Barry. Plenty at the moment, so I cannot be particular. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's a bargain. Simultaneous agreement. Count me as part of your team. Goodbye. Very yeah, good. All right. So we have someone good at mechanical explosives and medical. Uh, Steve Grizzly Bornell. I mean, this is like slightly a Captain America vibe, but um, off the hip machine gun attack does not suffer increased accuracy penalties. I mean, he's only got a pistol, so... And heavy weapons. 
and killing spree. Subsequent melee attacks against different targets during the same turn deal 48% extra damage. Okay, that's terrifying. Is he a bit of a, a bit of a slightly a Rambo as well, perhaps? We have Igor Dolvik. Who is kind of bad at everything though. I just want someone who's like good at shooting. Oh, hello. Okay, Yuri Ogrin here does have a double barrel shotgun. Okay, I thought that was a rifle. But that sounds fun, having a shotgun. Is that like a bowie knife? Gut hook knife. Ugh. Can't move this item. Oh, this is his, is it? Let's see. Eyes on the back. Set an overwatch in a circular area. Interesting. Uh, okay, he's good with auto weapons, so he's got a shotgun. Morale decrease when starting combat. And under okay, he doesn't like being underground. Guaranteed minimal accuracy with hopeless attacks. Okay. Distracting shot. God, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get ice. I'll just get ice. Ice is recommended. Uh, there he is. Let's get ice. Ice Williams. I mean, they seem good. They start with a flak vest and they shoot, and they have really good marksmanship. So, I like that. Really good with auto weapons. Don't have any yet, but we'll get one one day. Ice here. What's up? What's up, Ice? Have, um, have a week's contract. I Let's give it a spin. Including medical. I don't entirely know what that means. I don't know if he gets injured we have to pay that or something. I'm not sure. And uh, who's Meltdown? Hard feelings. Last enemy to attack Meltdown is marked by Vengeance. Oh dear. And when you attack someone with Vengeance, you get Inspired. Well, what does Inspired do? I'm not sure. And she's a psycho. Cool. Uh, reduced accuracy penalty in dual wielding. Nice. Uh, HP up by 20%. Subsequent attacks against the same target get extra accuracy bonus. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's have a look. See. Let's. Uh, not a good shot. Pretty good shot. And as a rifle. Yes. A uh, Gua. Okay, maybe that's good. Okay, she's a sniper. By the looks of it, and bypass uh, damage reduction from armor. Good at night ops. And small chance to prevent team morale loss. I like that too. Okay, should we go with that? Yeah, let's get her as well. Hello, talking computer. I am Kalin, and nice to meet you. Are you offering a job? <laughs> yes, yes I am. Bye-bye, talking computer. Nice of you to send me on an adventure. Oh no. They're sending a simpleton to go fight. That sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, okay, so he's still got a bit of cash. I don't know if we should probably hang on to that, though. We do have five people in our team right now. Which, you know, it just suggests three. So five seems... Five is bigger than three. So maybe that's the way to go. So we have Dr. Q. We have Ice Williams. Bobby Steroid Gontarski. Uh, Kal... Kal... Kalina? Sakalova and Barry Unger. Alright, seems like a good bunch, right? Seems like a good bunch. So who we got? Uh, he's uh, Hungarian. He's Chinese. He's American. He's Polish. And she's Ukrainian. Cool. Cool bunch. Alright. Eclectic mix. Uh, so now we can just click start and that starts. But also, you can do a bunch of other things like uh, where you can look at your people. Here are the people. But also, you have this other website you can look at for testimonials and things. Um, which is... Okay. Which is also fun to look around. Uh, user testimonials. I'm not a mercenary, but I play one on TV. Imps quick and accurate profiling gave me exactly what I needed. And expected. <laughs> Good. Uh, so there's a test you can do. I guess maybe I can't do it now? Uh, oh, there we go. So you can do this test as well, which uh, creates a character. So it's this pet exam. So it costs you money, which we do have enough for, but I don't think I'll do it just because I might want to spend that money later. But um, I like that you can basically do this and it'll they'll find you a bespoke mercenary. It's just a way to create uh, someone. So if we go to the test... Uh, 
actually. Hang on. Is there a back? Oh god. <laughs> this isn't a real browser. <laughs> okay, there we go. You can skip the test, look. And then you can just you can create a character how you want, which is really handy. So it is kind of cool. It does it does give you that option as well. I really like that. So if you're not happy with the exact team that you sort of find, you know, out of the out of the ridiculous bunch, then um, then yeah, you can make your own. So I like that. So we have our mercenary band. We will end up probably having several teams of mercs running around doing different missions um, and then swapping around and then sometimes be like, oh, there's, you know, it's underground, so we don't want to send our claustrophobic guys and so you might want to send a different team there. Yeah, it's going to turn into a whole thing. Um, I don't exactly know what kind of thing, but a whole thing. So, uh, God, that guy's got loads of armor. I kind of wish I'd brought that guy in. He's very expensive, though. I doubt I can get that guy at all, can I? Oh, he's retired. What do you mean he's retired? How can he be retired? Why is he even here? Do you get him out of retirement? I guess you do. Well, okay then, fine. Anyway, we're gonna start. So here we are. Uh, we're gonna move time along so we can start landing on this island. You can see, this initial island is Tutorial Island, basically, and then we've got this whole map to conquer slash explore or something. I have reached the destination now. All right, so, unknown enemies. Well, let's go deal with them then. Let's go fight. And here we are in the tactical map. Very fun. Uh, so we can select all these guys. Um, we can make them sneak as well. Uh, I find the controls are a bit confusing. Uh, for the most part, I don't entirely know how all of it works, because... I don't know, we'll, we'll get to it, but I find it's a little bit... Because uh, you can't pause it, as far as I can tell, in, in this mode. Um, trying to sneak around and get a shot on the enemy before they see you and stuff, it's a bit awkward. I think you have to be like, just really err on the side of caution. Almost play it more like a... Like a real-time strategy game than a, um, you know, than a turn-based one. Until you actually get into, you know, turn-based. Uh, no, oh, they're about to see me. They've seen me. See, like, you can't pause it, so when enemies are seeing you, you're kind of like, oh, crap, <laughs> what do I do? You don't really get a lot of time to react to it, which I find a bit odd. But uh, then it goes into an actual, like, turn-based combat mode. Uh, so, Barry. Old Barry boy. Barry's my um, shooty boy. Uh, sorry, explosive boy. Right, let's move up to here. So you can see you can uh, move basically like... I, I. So you have 10 AP, right? So you can move 10 spaces or shooting takes different AP. But I think the blue signifies how far you can go and still be able to shoot, even though that you can spend more AP to shoot or do other actions which cost certain amounts of AP. So it's not like the XCOM thing, where you have like two AP and you can use one to your, you know, to the first... You know, the first thing is one move and then the second one is your dash or whatever. No, it's it's just a way to give you some extra information. As, of this moment, as far as I can tell, that seems to be the case. And here, you can see, you do actually get different kinds of shots. So you can, uh, you can press right click to cycle through them. And you can cycle through way more if we had more AP, but we don't. So we can we can use all five AP here, and you get to choose where to shoot. But it doesn't tell you what the odds are. You just have to get a feel for it, which is a bit weird, I think. It's a bit of a bit of an odd one. Um, but depending on where you shoot, you'll get different uh, different modifiers. So headshots obviously do loads of damage. Shoot them in the arms will inflict inaccurate on them. Torso is just the easiest to shoot. We are it does count as us being point blank range right now. Shooting in the groin will lower our accuracy. It'll suppress them. Shoot them in the legs will slow them down. You know. But we're just gonna go for the torso, I think. Nice. So he ran out of action points and can't move anymore. <gasps> oh no. It's okay. We have others. Uh, so that is the Gua. I think I'm going to set up an overwatch with her for anyone who tries to move around here, because there are two more guys up there. Yes. Uh, so we have uh, Dr. Q. Doc, Doc, Dr. Q. Who can move very, very far, apparently. 
So is that 13 AP? So he has, yeah, he has 13 AP. So he can move up. To this guy. Is he good in melee? He does have that, um, he is good in unarmed, like, uh, what's the word? Yeah, unarmed combat. If that is your wish. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. So I'm going to swap to unarmed. And then, exploding palm. Uh, yeah, that's fine in the torso. I'm happy with that. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Nice. Oh, just spotted a guy. Luckily, though, I can keep moving. Almost dead. Well, he's unconscious now, so I guess that's fine. Uh, and this is his free move. Which is really handy, I must say. But the idea of just running up to someone, <laughs> just like punching them in the torso and then running away, I think is very funny. Be quiet now. Forget you ever saw me. Steroid is wonderfully voiced. It's <laughs> absurd. So yeah, he's he's got arty vibes to him. Uh, right, ice. What are we gonna do with you, huh? So you've got a you've got ice storm. Fire several shots aimed at all of the body. I mean, that sounds useful. All right, let's move here. We'll probably see the other person. Yeah, they're both here. All right, let's. Yeah, let's pop a cap in this dude. Oh, he. Sorry, I think ice is a woman or something. So I can try and aim more. You know what? I will. Nice. That was a good ice storm. As far as ice storms go, that was definitely one of them. Cool. Alright, uh, I'd love to set up an overwatch. Doesn't look like I can. Alright. I, mean, I can, I just can't move enough for it to matter. Uh, let's get you back here too, shall we? Unless he's going to flank us completely. That might be awkward. I'm going to move up anyway. I'm going to move up. Uh, so he's also good at... Um, he's got steroid smash. If he's unarmed, he can... He can Blat people, which is pretty great. We must be well groomed for battle. Oil up those muscles. Yeah. Kalina here. Have to be, have to be well oiled for battle. Okay, let's. Uh, so I can, I can set up an Overwatch. It's just not really going to do anything. It's very narrow Overwatch with, uh, with that ability. I guess I'm just going to take this cover. This place will be my castle. Good. All right, that'll do. End turn. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's so cool. So actually when they're getting shot at, they go prone automatically. I was wondering about that, because he had that one ability of his. Can I can I see that somehow? Oh, there we go. You press C for character. Nice. Nice and intuitive. Because he's got that one thing. Lightning reactions. So yeah, dodge the first successful enemy by falling prone. Okay, cool. Yeah, I somehow misinterpreted that. I thought when he was... If you made him go prone then he would get a dodge. But no, no, he just dodges prone, which is really fun. I like that a lot. So, single shot. Uh, can't shoot him in the head, apparently. There's a wall in the way. Uh, the attack cannot pierce the obstruction on the line of fire. That's weird. I don't quite know, I don't quite know what that obstruction is for his head. But sure, sure. Let's shoot him in the groin, because I think that's funny. So we'll spend 7 AP for a really accurate shot into his groin. That's <laughs> just sweet blessing! Uh, let's keep shooting him in the groin. Brilliant. We are the Robocop. Right. Uh, so I think that's that. Nope. So they're almost dead. Do I actually need to finish them off? Yes. Oh, well, Barry says that I do. I could put a shape charge on him, but that feels a bit uh, messy. So... Let's change weapon and then just, like, punch him to death? Brutalize. Spends all AP. Alright, brutalize this unconscious man, Barry. Good job, Barry. Good job. <laughs> Why do we have to keep hitting them? 
when they're the unconscious. On final that that feels rude, to say the least. Anyway, um, so we have uh, a dead body has some stuff on them. So we're going to take all of this ammunition. That's a lot of ammunition. Marvelous. And uh, we're going to take some of these meds. So these meds you actually use to uh, restock med kits, which I think is a really fun way to do it. So this is essentially your supplies of ammo and everything. And that will just be used by everybody to replenish the stuff that they have. Which, uh, yeah, I think it's really nice. It's a good, good solution. Awesome herbs here. So as you walk around, different characters will use different stats to identify, you know, different loot around the place. So it's good to have a mix of people. This site marks a spot where five brave French commandos held off a full company of German Kriegsmarine, giving the garrison a fort. Uh, <laughs> le bleu. Time to prepare. All right, Fort Blue Water. We will comply. Uh, okay, this guy's got Let's loot. Go and get that. Might be protein. Oops. Might be protein. Might be. Might be. Uh, more ammo. Let's take that with us as well. And we also have some buckshot if we find any shotguns. Nice. Okay. Come on. What else we got going on? So there's a, there's a guy called Bastien down there. And this is where we're headed. We're headed up here to go talk to uh, to Emma Lafontaine. I said that to um, spanish -y, didn't I? It's Lafontaine, not Lafontaine. Okay, we can loot this guy. Uh, oh, flak vest. Awesome. Who needs one? Yeah, steroid does. We'll give steroid to flag vest. Thing is in bad shape. Must let me fix it. Uh, can you fix it? No, I can scrap it. I think I think I can fix it later. I don't know how to use like random skills and things outside of combat yet. We'll find out as we play. So hello, Bastian. Don't shoot. I'm just a bystander here. An innocent civilian. I heard some shots fired up there. Uh, I came to take a look and I saw the Legion getting their asses kicked. Uh, but I'm not with them. I was just um, doing a bit of scavenging on the beach. Yeah, that's how I provide for my family. Uh, civilian? Oh, really? Oh, you mean this gun here? It's just... <laughs> It's just for protection, boss. These are dangerous times on the island. <laughs> I think this guy's slightly sus. Uh, hands up. Uh, tell us about that legion. <laughs> well, that's the patriotic legion of Grand Chien. Quite a gang they are. I think some of them were trying to snatch that Emma girl, the president's daughter. But I guess that didn't work out. I love that it's the big dog legion. Grand Chien. Big dog. Uh, quite a gang they are, huh? Quite a gang. You're with the Legion. We'll use our wisdom check. That sounds good. No, 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 no. This is not true. Uh, don't shoot me, boss. I, I mean, maybe I had some dealings with the Legion in the past, but who doesn't? It's a small island. It is difficult to hide one's true self on such a small island. Look, just let me go to my family and I... I will give you diamonds from my secret stash. I swear. Uh, honestly? Like, yeah, sounds good, right? We get diamonds. Yeah, he can live. Like, I don't care. <laughs> uh, bien sûr, please, take these. I just found them on the beach, I swear. All yours now. I, uh, I can go? And uh, you won't shoot me in the back? Just drop your lunch money and run, little man. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, we got three tiny diamonds. Awesome. Oh, and more diamonds. All right, Barry. Diamonds for Barry. Could be cashed in for money. That is true about diamonds. Uh, so that's very silly, and I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, we're mercenaries. If now, you know, if the enemy are going to pay us not to fight them, sounds great. Uh, you can cash in valuables directly from the item menu. Oh, really? Oh, would I want to do that now? Cash stack, cash in. Uh, do I want to do that? I guess so. Destroy the whole stack. Well, yeah, but need the money, right? I think. The fact it was telling us that we can makes me think that we should. All right, so hang on. We got a med kit. Uh, is anyone else any good at medicine? No, 
No, steroid is the best person at medicine. I feel like I still need to have like a second person with something. Because like stabilizer dying characters, right? So I, I feel like this would help our doctor. If our doctor goes down, he could just stabilize him. And that would be better than nothing. How are these any different? With condition after each use, we can refill the beds. Uh, because that bandage heals 25% more. That's specific to Dr. Q, I think. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure. So, we've got some parts. We've got to use those to repair things, I think. Uh, used by the repair items operation in Satview. So yeah, there is... There are some other mechanics that we'll need to get into, which I haven't discovered yet. I've only played, like, a couple of combat encounters and thought, yeah, this feels... this feels right. This feels like something that should be on this channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, THQ Nordic for sending me this, by the way. Because I have got it a couple days early. I think it's out... Yeah, it's out tomorrow. I think, as of as of this being published, it comes out the next day. I think. Oh, she's said he said La Fontaine. Thank God you made it. I wanted to warn you, but you were already on route. Legion forces have landed on Ernier. They even tried to attack us here at the villa. I can't imagine what they want with this tiny island. It is neither Ernie Island nor my villa they want. It is you. Perhaps they think capturing you would make your father more cooperative. Then I'm sorry I came. I didn't mean to put anyone else in jeopardy. Have faith. Barry is here. <laughs> I really like Barry. <laughs> she just says it like, he's the, he's the worst. Like, he's like the first guy on the list, like, he's the cheapest merc, and he's, like, acting as though he's the greatest, which I just think is hilarious. Uh, good old Barry. Oh, so all those guys, by the way, all the, the, you know, mercs that you get, I'm pretty sure they're all random. Um, I don't think, I don't think they're any, like, set ones. I just think it, I just think it's very clever with how it, um, pieces together a bunch of like pop culture stuff and 90s references into just like a random amount I think but I might be talking rubbish <laughs> so there is that uh, but I, I yeah I don't recognize these guys from the last thing I played so I don't know uh, then I'm sorry I came blah blah, blah. we can handle them we're great I am so grateful to hear you say that Grand Chien's own government can't do a thing to help I am reassured by your confidence here, please take this as a gesture of my appreciation. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much! This is the nicest gift I have ever received for shooting at someone. You're quite welcome. Now, as to beginning your search, I suppose questioning the Legion soldiers on Ernie about my father would be a good way for you to start. This is Corazon Santiago. She's the director of operations in Grand Chien for the Adonis Corporation. Her people encountered the Legion face to face. She will manage additional funding while you are in the field. Oh, how nice! This is like having two fairy godmothers! Hello, it is good to meet you. As Emma said, I will provide you with a cut of the proceeds from the Adonis Diamond Mines to help fund your mission as you liberate each one from Legion control. But first things first. The Legion has overrun the island, capturing the town and the old fortress. Liberating the town is essential to securing transport to the mainland. But securing the whole island will ensure you have a good base of operations. Additionally, the locals may be appreciative and give useful intel. All right then. Um, can you tell us something more about the Legion? Led by a man calling himself the Major. It is the largest paramilitary group in the region. Yeah, they, they have diamond mines and, uh, mines no, should be no match for professional soldiers. of exceeding professional. We will be victorious. <laughs> I will show them the force of my incredible biceps and they will run or I will smash them! 
I love it. Uh, so, uh, who's the major? Perhaps the biggest warlord in Grandchien. Not uh, much is known about as a cult him, personality, worshipped and feared. I like do them directly. Like dude needs an attitude adjustment. It is every warlord's fate to die violently. I see no reason why this one would be an exception. That guy had like a Punisher shirt. Which is very unusual. Um, let's see. That's about any island. This island is isolated and defensible. And uh, good launch a good point. launch point for missions yeah. into the Ajani River Valley. People are docile. I like this. It is the Christian thing to do. Some may prove more helpful than others, I'm sure. But you should talk with as many of them as you can. They may have information that could be of use to you. Please excuse me. I must take this. Yes. No. Just tell them to wait. Just tell them to wait, goddammit. <clears throat> My apologies. Where were we? That conversation sounded... Distressing. It was... Well, it was nothing that concerns your mission. It was simply a... Uh, certain logistical issues that require my attention from time to time. Again, I apologize. Do you have any further questions for us? I feel like she might be the baddie. Uh, just the fact that, you know, we, we are in a fictional um, country of uh, Grand Chien in, in Africa, but I think anyone like running a gold mine in Africa uh, in any 90s or real life <laughs> situation is probably a dick and the fact she's got scars on her face just makes me immediately assume that she's probably probably the villain um and that she's back rolling uh, a load of the mercs or something i don't know i don't know what incentive there would be for her uh because yeah i don't know i don't know just maybe maybe the 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 baddie warlord guy uh, was going to allow her, you know, to, to operate without taxes or something, as long as she bankrolls his rebellion or something. So it'd be some, some kind of profit incentive. Corazon and I will be keeping in touch via radio. But like, you know, she seems rude and has scars, so got to be a baddie, right? Oh, we just took a grand. Nice. <laughs> we'll hack this. Gain some intel. Okay. Uh, oh. Can examine this. This is a luxury chair, not as clumsy or random as a plastic chair, an elegant piece of furniture for a more civilized age. Alright, cool. Anything out here? Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Okay. I think that's that area sorted. Uh, let's jump up here and see if any of this is lootable. And then this is the edge of the map, so we can uh, we can head off and liberate this island. Fun times. As you wish. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello. Oops. Oh yeah, that's that's lootable. Loot with Barry. Okay, more parts. Thanks, Barry. Uh, thrown projectile, player sticks. Oh, who should have these then? I don't know. Um. Steroid. Yeah, I'll give him then. I think that works. He's pretty slow, as far as I could tell from that last um, last fight we had. So if he can actually help out from a distance with something like that, it might be. I mean, he could actually be useful on that first turn. I don't know. We'll see. So there are night missions, I believe, just from the. Um, yeah, there are definitely night missions, right? We, we saw that in the... Uh... Ah, here we go. Exit to the Outlook. Sure. Ah, it takes to the next area. Cool. Off we go. Uh, but yeah, just judging from the skills and things that people have, it references knights, like night battles, so... Gotta be. Uh, so Charlie Squad is gonna go deal with the rock pythons. Very cool. And we forces the president of the sector prepare to engage. Yeah, I really do enjoy the UI and everything. Looking like just like an old school computer. Just that in and in and of itself is, is quite nostalgic. Hello there. Why do I feel like this thing shoots arrows out of its mouth? Okay, 
Okay, let's climb up here. Because I can. Slowly. Oh, hello. Hi. Look at this fella. Should I try and shoot him? My gun is not a magic wand, you know. Certainly try. Apparently not. Not now. Uh, use this button to start sneaking. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can stealth kill. Alright, shoot his head off. I was at I was nice! Sniper saw someone die. Sniper did a die. Oh, crap. We're in combat now. Yeah, I think we're in combat. I don't know what we do with everyone else. <laughs> Alright, I guess you can climb down. You're pretty talking about to punch that man. Although, I guess you can use a gun. That is... That is an option. Uh, I just thought I'd take the chance while I was there, but... Uh, when I was little, I would hide from we are still hidden, though. Going. Still so... I don't know. Yeah, Barry, you can swap back to your guns and stuff. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest! <laughs> Good, it's I'm glad. And... Yeah, Ice, you stay up here too, because I think you're actually quite capable, aren't you? Good thing I brought my sneaks. Oh, I'm glad you got your sneaks. Alright, end the turn. Hidden enemy turn. So they're hidden too. I don't know how long before it just gives up on combat. Or if it will at all. Oh, I should overwatch. That's what I should do. I should set up an overwatch. Somewhere. There, I guess. Well. Still nothing. Let's move out. Oh, crap. Hi. Hello. Hi there. Oh, God. He's not going to hit me, is he? <laughs> hey, buddy. Um. Punch. Brutalize. Can't use exploding palm. Why can't I use exploding palm? Recharge on kill with another attack. Oh. Oh, jeez. So I need to actually beat someone up first. Uh, I could just brutalize him then. There's a series of attacks against random body parts. Can't be... Okay, three to six attacks. That feels like a lot of attacks. <laughs> wow. Let's kick the snot out of him. The bullets nice. carry the way the spirit. Uh, now let's get you down here. And I'll set up an overwatch, I suppose. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I should be working out. I found some battle boys. I mean, you stay where you are. Actually, you can move up there and shoot it, but that will leave you out in the open. Uh, throw a, a shape charge. I miss at risk when not used by Barry, but luckily Barry is Barry, so I think we'll be okay. Is this guy behind cover? I have good odds of hitting uh, no, no, he's not. In that case, I guess I'm going to shoot him, Barry style. Ah, oh, five damage. Rubbish. Rubbish. I shall not make a noise. Now you still can't see anybody. Which is disappointing. Alright, alright. Sneaky peek. He said sneaky peek, but you know. I tried this, I'm gonna get played. You're right. You're right. You got it. The Iceman gonna keep everyone covered. I only hope so. And, yeah, let's get... Let's see. What's he... Okay, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. Guns are bad. Guns... Guns shoot people. Do you know that? 
Who about being trying to shoot him? We got. I could throw a flare stick at him. If I miss, it is okay. So he's got his flak vest. I do have high ground and good marksmanship, which are both pluses for hitting. So, <laughs> do I just try and get a headshot? Um, I mean, it doesn't tell you exactly what your odds are, so I have no idea. That could be a big minus, or they could all be the same. I have no idea. Well, we got him in the head. He's almost dead. What is your wish? Quite surprised your he survived, actually. Out. Kind of disappointed he survived. Got shot in the head. Oh, now he just shot me. That hardly seems fair. Right, this guy's probably going to take some shots too, although he didn't run a long way. So he might not. Okay, doesn't seem like he has. Be able to do that anymore. So I could run up here and start punching this guy. I think. Can I? Yeah, that's still... That's still in range. So, punch. Three to four AP, huh? So if I do that, I can punch him. Is that going to be a good punch? How's it exploding palm? It inflicts unconscious. So that happens immediately, does it? I think it does. So I think the bonus of this is just you can... Someone can go for full health to unconscious. Ooh, god, there's no one over there. Alright, well... Um... Body palm mim in the neck. Oh no, it does say how much damage it does, so maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. No, he's unconscious. It does certainly make people unconscious. <laughs> there <I> go. I shall go. That was really funny. Uh, okay, this guy, Barry. Let's get you over here. And yeah, try and try and shoot this man. Oh no, not him. No. no. No, shoot him, you weirdo. Good position Thank you. Shoot. Uh, try and shoot him in the head. I don't really want to shoot through his vest. Uh, I can make the guy inaccurate if I shoot him in the arms. He's nearly dead, though. So maybe the torso's fine. Maybe the torso's fine. Yep, seems fine to me. Shot him so hard, his legs melted into the rock. Dude, he took a life. Come on, man. <laughs> it's okay. It's the 90s. Life was a lot cheaper in the 90s. Alright, let's have a look. Um, that guy's almost dead, apparently. So we're still going to deal with him. Maybe. He's a goon. Um, I don't know if I should still be here. I have no idea. But I do feel like it's... Um... Moving. I don't know, I feel like it's nice to have have that Overwatch potential. We did kill someone with her already, so... You know, she has done alright for herself. And she has caused all of the enemies to sort of run single file towards us, which is pretty handy. Oh my god, because we hit him in the neck. He suffocated and died. Wow. That was horrible. Oh. Hello. The village is full of them. They shot Tine and took Hemen, and I decided to sneak away. But there are more of them here. You will sneak up on them and shoot them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Sounds like something I'd do. Uh, okay, what else is going on? You yeah, have to have a good rummage around here at some point, won't I? See if I can't find some cool loot kicking around. Okay, let's get you over here. Can't see any other goons. I should be working out. Um. Maybe I'll bring her back. I shall not make a noise. So everyone can start moving. Okay, let's move you up. 
Let's move you up. Keeping it on the down low. Oh. And start setting up some overwatches, I guess. Alright, it's overwatch with you as well. Don't think there's much point really, but might as well. I don't know if we can shoot through our own guys. I actually have no idea. Well, here's one. Yep, he's avoided all the overwatches. Fair enough. I'd probably try and avoid them too. Alright, let's get over here. So I think he might be in overwatch right now. He just said probability of success is low, which I think is bad. I think that's a bad thing. Uh, let's try and shoot him in the arms. We missed his arms. Uh, right, Hello. let's move Barry. Yes. I have okay, Barry. Of enemy. No odds of hitting anything, huh? Well, damn. Also, it is suggesting I bandage. Um, who did get hit? Steroid got hit. Yeah, suggesting I bandaged steroid. Uh, stealth kill? Oh, where? Oh, are you still stealthing? Well, that seems a bit silly. Um, but you're still stealthing. Does that mean you get better? Arms shot. Okay, range is bad. Aiming helps. Yeah, okay, that's just one stage of that. Alright, let's just try and shoot him. Nice! Fatal arm shot. I should be working out. I go. And steroid gain plus one agility. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Does that help him move further? I guess? Dunno. And okay, an enemy sniper. Ooh. Ooh. Last enemy combatant awaits Ooh, that's fate. no good. Oh, I don't like that much. Yeah, let's let's not do that. Okay, good. All bandaged up. Uh so she's still stealth. If I pull these guys back. Oh, he's still sneaking as well. Which is handy. Moving. But if I pull back, could probably get a good shot of them, right? Pin down, target is marked, and then I shoot them for 36 damage. That sounds good. Yeah, I think we're gonna try and try and set up an overwatch trap for him. He can't keep shooting here, can he? I don't think so. May their bullets not find me. Okay, let's move. Okay, that's cover. None of this is. Which is a bit annoying. Okay, that is? Okay, that... Oh, I can loot that goon. Excellent. I guess some armor piercing ammo, apparently. Lovely. And then Yeah, keep now, keep moving okay. back. We must be well groomed Ice, for let's get you up here too. Those muscles. Okay, he's still hidden. Hopefully he'll remain so. This is an interesting dynamic. Oh, bam! Oh my god, you missed. Oh, okay. Nope, didn't miss that time. Really cool dynamic to have some of your guys. That was it. That was the last guy. She's <laughs> like a bag of cats, that one. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I like that. I like the dynamic of having some people remaining hidden while some people draw. Cover. It makes me wonder if you could, like, rehide. Okay, he had a gun on him. Uh, interesting. 9mm. I think everyone's probably good, though, right? That's the same gun. 
So you'll have either the Peacemaker or the High Power. So the High Power, less range, slightly more damage. Decreased bonus from aiming. Okay, limited customization options. It is high damage, so I think I think the idea is you just give that to people who aren't particularly um, skilled. I'll just put that in Barry's backpack. Actually, no, none of these ones are the ones that can dual wield, were they? They've got bonuses for dual wielding, but I can dual wield. So actually. Let's see if Ice wants to dual wield. Am I lower his accuracy, perhaps? I want to see what happens. Let's find out. Let's see if that works. Okay. On my way. Let's uh, let's get everyone to come down here. We outie. Have a look around. I can't see if I can loot anyone very well. Yes. All right, let's go over here. All right, there's some loot here. <laughs> loot with Ice. The herbs with Barry. Come on. Gives us some meds, which is kind of cool. Hold up. Check this out. Uh, oh, that's how we leave the area. Uh, what did you find? More herbs. Cool. And we leave the area there too. Let's go for a walk. Let's okay. Go. Um, Come on. Head up here. Actually, let's go to this middle bit first. It's like a camp here. Let's grab what we can. And loot that with Dr. Q. Have some more wire cutters. I can give that to Steroid. He seems to be happy carrying all the tools. And we have a stick grenade. Uh, do you want to give that to Barry? He likes bombs, but I feel like he's already got bombs. So maybe... i give that grenade to uh, Kalina. Okay, let's climb up here. Maybe something in these boxes? Oh, yeah, there we go. And there's that body. There is something unknowable here. Oh, we can hack that. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Go do that. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Gain $500 from hacking. Nice. Ooh. Another gear. Interesting. Uh, let's give that to Kalina. She has a tiny backpack. I think this. I think the backpack gets larger if they have more strength, which is actually a really elegant solution for this sort of like hybrid of of like encumbrance plus, you know, grid based. Um, you know, sort of grid based. Uh, Inventory system. I think that's really clever. I really like that. Okay, break that lock if you would. And we broke it and found an AK. Interesting. 4% though. I don't think that's even worthwhile. Let's just scrap it. Uh, give. Squad bag. Okay, good. Okay. I should be working out. Anything else? A wise plan. Just this guy? I don't there's anything else here, but there might be. Might be. Come on. I feel like other people might be able to roll the dice. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Squad bag. So yeah, they all have different dice rolls on like seeing loot and things. So I think we do want to make sure that everybody sort of runs around together. We're going to spot everything. I do really like the idea of having, like, all the loot in the game, something that people have to spot. Because still by running around, it sort of gives the impression that you're, like, searching, but it doesn't feel like every other sort of RPG where you are literally just walking up to everything that looks like a box and pressing E so a, a thing pops up saying what's in it, you know. Um, it's just like, oh yeah, do you guys find something useful or not? Because most of the time, obviously they're not, are they? These normal, like, actual people don't walk into a room and then search every square inch of it before moving on, you know. Oh, okay. I think we need to go there, actually. I think this place is more than hits the eye. 
Okay. Oh, we have operations we can do as well. Interesting. Let's not bother doing that yet. Okay, let's go over here. We'll be coming in from a weird angle there. Possibly. This might actually be beneficial to us rather than coming in from that way. Of interest. We should explore. Uh, tired Mercs. Oh. Oh, well, how do we... Untired. <laughs> guess operations. I guess. Interesting. Armor orders have taken position in the village. Advanced caution. Uh, no operations available. Oh, is it because I'm... Tired. Recovers by being idle for 12 hours. Oh, okay. Alright, so, um... We'll attack at 8 o'clock. Okay, that wasn't 12 hours, but I'll, I'll take it. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's fight. Killer bees. his daughter as well. She fled to this island like a coward, just like you and your friends did all those years ago. Oh dear. I... I have to warn her. You have to sit on your ass and do nothing. My men should have captured her already. Now stop wasting my time. I need to go back to the fort and report. Oh no, that wasn't Bastion, was it? Was that the guy that we let go? That might have been. That's interesting. I was kind of hoping that we would get, like, you know, something would happen as a result of letting him go. Um, if it means now that, like, we won't be able to sneak up on the the, the boss at the end or something, because they've, you know, they've been warned. I think that's really cool. I think that's be really interesting. So I'm completely happy to take the diamonds and have a tougher time if it means that I'm playing a game where if you take the diamonds, you have a tougher time. I like it. Okay, so there's also deployment. There's a deployment area which we're deploying in. Um, okay, enemies, enemies. Uh, no, no weather affecting things. If you've gained intel for a sector, you will get additional information about locations in tactical view. You can see special objects such as machine gun emplacements and spotlights. You can gain intel by doing tasks or the scouting operation. I think we already got some intel, didn't we, in that other mission? So I'm assuming that's what this is. So there's a back way. A back way to where? High ground. Sure is. Open ground. And enemies and enemies. Sure. Okay. Well, just go here and we'll uh, we'll probably go into stealth mode and, and move through this way. And see if we can get these guys uh, unawares. Oh, machine guns over here. In that case... Let's try and sneak over here and get onto these machine guns. That sounds perfect. Or at least move this way so if they, we get spotted, we'll be able to fire at them as they move in to take machine guns, right? Maybe that's the way to go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to deploy here. Uh, let's hit deploy. Boom. And this is where we're going to call that a day on this episode. Um, but I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot. I think it's a really interesting game. Uh, the idea of having like this random ragtag fund of merc you know, mercenaries that, uh, I mean, some of them might die and we'll get new ones. It's got the very sort of XCOM vibe. Probably Jagged Alliance vibe, honestly. But like I said, I've played the uh, the first two. But yeah, this seems like a lot of fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.